Hi Amy, forgive me, I've been driving for 14 hours, but Melissa and I decided to film a little video to hopefully help you out while testing your glucose of your pup. So what I have here is a little pouch that contains the Alpha Track 2 that we purchased from Amazon.com. It comes with 25 test strips to get you started <clears throat> and all of this stuff right here. So what you see is here's your test strips. Here's the tester, and here's the device that takes the lancets to help prick your dog's location. We'll just talk about that after. So first thing you want to do is you want to look on your test strips. Now the difference between this and a human monitor is these are coded for dogs and cats. Now simply by looking on the bottle, you'll see the code for dog, which happens to be 36. Now every box you get or every vial you get usually has a different code so you have to make sure that you set that. Now setting that on the monitor is pretty simple. <clears throat> you simply take one of the test strips out. Now there's two sides to the test strip. There's a side that has a butterfly on it and then the two dots on the end and then you have like a little circuit board on the back now you're gonna put that butterfly up in the machine and push it all the way in we try not to touch the end of it hold towards the middle now when you turn it on it's gonna flash some numbers you can actually set up the date and a bunch of other things which you'll be able to figure out in the future but as you see it flashed a code and it said 36 now if that code was different I'm actually gonna put this back in so you can see when it flashes a code you want to make sure it's the right one if it's not the right code if you hit the C the numbers will go up if you hit the M the numbers will go down now this code was 36 so I'm gonna put this on 36 once you have it on 36 you just let go and you'll see a little flashing um, picture right here and what this is trying to do is get you to put the blood onto the end of the test strip now we're going to show you part two okay now the machine for the Lancet you'll notice on the front of it there's some numbers um, the numbers simply tell you how far it's going to send out so we have it on four for the maximum punch now you open up this little cover here and you take a Lancet out these aren't the lancets that came with it. These are ones we actually got from somebody else. Um, but they gave them to us and they happen to work in the machine. But they do work the same way. So you take off the cap, which exposes the lancet. You put this down in the hole. You take and pull back here to cock it. You'll hear a clicking sound. And then you put the cover over the top of it. You probably want to put the cover over the top of it first. Now you'll notice that the lancet's ready to go. And now what we do is take your glucose meter, your test strip. I have the test strip just slid in a little bit so that way it doesn't turn on to give you time in case you don't get a good pick the first time. Um, but this just helps you get ready to go because sometimes when your dog hears the clicking sound, they know that they're almost done. So if you're reaching for this or trying to get this, um, the dog might get up or something and then you'll lose your blood spot and you'll have to do it all over again. So now we're going to see if we can get Rogue to cooperate with us, which shouldn't be too hard. Come here, Rogue. Can you lay down for me? Can you lay down? Come here, girl. Rogue. Come here. Can you lay down? Lay down, please. Lay down. Good girl. Good girl now. Okay. So there's a couple different, lay down, good girl. So there's a couple different locations that you can use. You can use the top of the pad here on the back, and you can use her pad down here. Um, I happen to use this one up here. It just seems to work for me, and it seems to not bother her as much. But you'll have to find the spot that works the best for you on your pup. Um, some people use the ear, some do underneath the lip. Um, you know, whether being diabetic and possibly not healing as much, we wanted to keep it in a different location. Can I go over to the other side to get a better view? Okay. Okay, so now this is cocked back. 
and what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the upper part of this pad right here and what we're going to do is we put the lancet up there and you push the button now you see there's already a drop of blood there so now I usually just bump this against my arm or something to get it to come on it's going to come on it's going to show you that code you're going to make sure the code's the proper code then it's going to go to the flashing now you're going to put the littlest dab right on the black dots here and it's going to beep once it's done you can put your thumb over that or you can wipe away and always tell her good girl good girl rogue now rogue just ate a little while ago and she's actually at 421 now 421 would scare you if you thought that's what she was maintaining but what's happening is her insulin is probably just starting to work so if we tested her again she'd possibly be down to like 300 and then next time if you tested her in a couple more hours she might be down to 200 and back to what she was prior so I hope this helps you if you have any questions you have our number and all you have to do is give us a call we'd be glad to help it's wicked scary at first but after you figure it out and after your pup figures it out it works out really good so I hope you have a good night